dancing, God of every yearning heart. With quests of spirit, truth revealed in myriad ways. Word or song for hearts that inherit, sketch and model forms of praise. God of Athens, God of galaxies in space, God of every living creature, God of all the human race. May our knowledge be extended for the whole creation's food. Hunger banished, warfare ended, for the earth the neighborhood. Of science, history, teaching, God of futures yet unknown, God of holding, God of reaching, God of far beyond the throne. Take the fragments of all living, lead us to your finest sea. Now forgiven and forgiven. Thank you. Please be seated. Friends, our guest speaker comes to us at a time when the whole world is dealing with change, isn't it? Social, political, cultural, moral, even spiritual change is taking place all across the planet. It is a time when we, as a spiritual movement, are seeking to answer the question, why do we exist? And how can we fulfill a vision of awakening humanity to its spiritual magnificence as we help to create a world that works not just for a few, but for everyone upon the planet? Here in Jamaica, our own center has also been having the important conversation about why we exist and how we can make a difference. And we have been pursuing the idea of moving from a pastor flock, kind of everything you know, revolves around the pastor, and there's a group of followers. We're moving from that model of ministry to a mission-centered model designed to include everyone Everyone here within the sound of my voice and anyone who comes into contact with us, everyone is involved in taking this amazing teaching we call the science of mind into our communities, into the world, so that we can really touch, heal, bless, prosper, and liberate everyone upon the face of the planet. As the current chair of our Census for Spiritual Living governing body, the Leadership Council, our speaker is skillfully utilizing the principles of science of mind, as well as her wide experience as a change agent, to pilot our organization through changing times as we seek to help create this world that works for all people. Her 2015 TED talk, What is Mind to Do?, has received much recognition and has led to a book, journal, and Facebook group focused on helping people take individual responsibility for creating more respect and equity in the world. She has authored 11 books. She must have started like Lazarus when she was 13. <laughs> Including I Turn to Prayer, a collection of original prayers in different formats, a few, a very few of which, will be available for sale after our celebration today. And if you're really nice to her, and when you IMEC for her, you say it is a good day, she may even sign it for you. <laughs> she is the first licensed practitioner to receive the Ernest Holmes Award, which is the highest honor conferred by Centers for Spiritual Living upon a person who exemplifies and personifies the teachings of our founder, Dr. Ernest Holmes. All previous awardees of this Ernest Holmes Award have, have before her have been ordained ministers of religion. 
It is truly, my friends, a good day to be able to listen to and learn from this outstanding purveyor of truth, a woman who walks her talk. Please help me welcome the chair of Centers for Spiritual Living Leadership Council, religious science practitioner, Tracy Brown. <laughs> Just don't speed it up. <laughs> One God, one love. One God, one life. One God, one freedom. One God, one God. One God, one love. One God, one life. One God, one life. One God, one freedom. One God, one freedom. One God, one God. One God, one God. One God, one love. One God, one love. One God, one life. One God, one life. One God, one freedom. One God, one freedom. One God, one God. 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 What we know is absolutely true and what we teach in Science of Mind is that there is one God, there is one life, where there is one love, there is one presence and one power in the universe. And this power is a power for good. It is available to all and we can use it. You can use it. I can use it. It is available to every one of us. <laughs> Good morning, Temple family. Good morning, Good morning Tracy. <laughs> I know. I know that I am a part of you and you are a part of me. And that is what being community is all about. Really. So when I was thinking about what I might share with you today, one of the things that came to mind as I was in spiritual practice a couple of weeks ago was the scripture from the book of Romans in the Bible, chapter 12, starting with verse 4. For just as each of us has one body with many members, and these members do not all have the same function, so in Christ... We, though many, form one body, and each member belongs to all the others. Now, when I read that, I was like, well, yeah, that really is how it works, how everything works. And I mean, just hang with me for a minute. Think about your own body, really, your body, this, this body, this earth suit that you are in that carried you here today. And without getting up or moving from your seat, just feel, feel your legs. Wiggle your toes if you are able. Touch your arm. Blink your eyes. I said blink your eyes. Don't wink your eyes at me. Or wink your eyes and I won't take it any other way. Blink your eyes. Feel the vertebrae. Feel your backbone and every vertebrae holding you up. Yeah. Yeah, feel your heartbeat. Take a breath. 
We each have many parts of our body that are constantly and consistently working together so that our body works and it carries out the one function of, of taking us from point A to point B or moving us from uh, where we start to where we are going. So the body is made up of all these different members, our arms, our legs, our fingers, our feet, and all the internal members of our body, our stomach, our heartbeat, our brain, everything working in unison. But do we expect our fingers to operate the same as our legs? No. Do we expect our brain to operate the same way as our heart? No, they're connected, but they are not the same. And so they work together. And that's what we do when we become a community. So it hit me that really when we say community, we are saying from a spiritual perspective, come unity. Come, the principle of God, the attribute of God that is unity, all things working together, we are saying or inviting that unity, that spiritual presence, that spiritual power to come and bind us together, to bring us together in joy, and to bring us together in power, to bring us together to create amazing things. And so this idea of come, Unity is what I have in mind when I think about 36 years. I mean, that couldn't happen. Temple of Light could not be here for 36 years if Dr. Elma had not just, had not only been a nurse by training, but had a willingness and a vision and a direction to say, come unity. Come the unity of God and weave yourself, re weave itself through every individual who comes present so that together we can create something that represents the divine idea known as Temple of Light. Are you with me? Very Does good. that make sense yeah, to you? Absolutely. So when we say come unity, think come unity and how are you willing to invite unity to express itself in as and through you for the purpose of creating a community called Temple of Light. Now many of you have been around for a while and so you know you have a way of showing up that does that, that has contributed to that but some of you have only been here six months or less than an hour or an hour and a half because we had some visitors who are here for the first time. It doesn't matter whether you've been here five minutes, five years, or 36 years, you are a part, you are a contributing part of creating community. You have felt the call come and bring your contribution to unity. And having been called to that, you now have the responsibility to offer that, to show up as unity, to, in the words you speak and the actions you take, to welcome everyone else. Now, as the chair of the Leadership Council for Centers for Spiritual Living, I know a little bit about welcoming and inviting all different kinds of people. So Centers for Spiritual Living is an organization that has approximately 400 member communities like Temple of Light, all over the world. And if we expected to make leadership and business decisions, assuming that every member of the community was the same, every center was the same, had the same needs, had the same order of service, we would not be successful. Because we know that Temple of Light in Kingston, Jamaica is 
sharing the same principles, teaching science of mind, modeling and demonstrating our commitment to create a world that works for everyone. But in the detail, Temple of Light in Kingston, Jamaica is not anything at all like, I don't know, um, CSL North Jersey yeah. or um, Center for Spiritual Awareness in West Sacramento, California or Phoenix Rising Center for Spiritual Living in the UK or Tenemos in the Ukraine or Center for Spiritual Living Toronto in Toronto, Canada. What we know is that we say come and be united, come and be a member of this larger body called Centers for Spiritual Living and bring your unique flavor, bring your dance, bring your song, bring your way of being. And it's fabulous, it's beautiful. And I'm just here to encourage you to do you, right? To be all that you can be here at Temple of Light because when you do that, you show up in our organization in a way that no other community can. And I've seen that in the last two days. I have felt like I've been with family from the moment I started interacting with many of you, with each of you, with any of you. We had a great time yesterday. And what I know is absolutely true is that you have a special place in our movement. The only way you can claim, declare, and show and fill that special space is by not just surviving here, but moving into thriving. And I'm so excited to hear that that's exactly where you are going, that you have a mindset and you have a commitment now that is unfolding into the next expression of unity. It's going to show up completely differently. And it's going to be a thriving ministry. That is not just a phrase, right? Thriving ministry, OK, it's two words. That's great. But it is not just a phrase. It is a representation of what we believe in science of mind that from many, we become one. And that means every one of you gets to contribute to that becoming. So you already heard the announcement, but it struck me when, is it Phaedra? Phaedra. When Phaedra was speaking, that that is exactly what it means to become community. You can't let other people over here do it. Do it. She can't do it by herself. Reverend John can't do it. All of your other reverends and ministers and practitioners can't do it. You have a contribution to make, just like every finger on your hand makes a contribution to picking up an item and all of the elements of your body come together so bring your Christ consciousness forward into the growth of this ministry, into the growth of this community. Bring your consciousness forward, your ideas. Um, I'm, I'm just curious. Just patronize me for a minute. And I invite you to stand up and then quickly sit down if anything I say applies to you. Is there anyone in the room who knows they are a good teacher? Stand up and sit down. Is there anyone who's, a, who's an artist? Is there anyone who has experience working in a medical office or a law firm? Is there anyone in the room who has worked in a bank? Who in this room has uh, uh, been a mother or father? We got parents in the room. Who are our grandparents? Yeah, right. Who in this room knows how to walk in a room and bring light by smiling? 
If you stood up, and even if you didn't, the only point I'm trying to make is that every one of us has a contribution to make. It might be a technical skill. It might be an energetic vibration that we bring. It's not just for preachers and teachers. It is for every one of us to show up and to be temple of light in the world. And that's... <laughs> And that means you have to start by being temple of light in this building and in this space. So, <laughs> the words come unity are where I want to land. I want to land knowing that in this very moment, there is only one power, there is one, one presence, and there is only one love in the world, and that is the love of God. There is only one life, that life is God's life. And God's life is perfect. It is the example of perfection. And in this moment, I claim that that life is my life now. And if that resonates with you, I just want you to say, that life is my life now. That life is my life now. And so together we invite, we invoke, and we welcome unity because that unity is the foundation for, for growth to happen. I honor you on this 36th anniversary. I am in awe and in deep appreciation for all each one of you has contributed to making 36 years happen like this. I challenge each one of you to ask the question, what is my contribution to the next 36 years? Because every one of us, myself included, has a contribution to make to the ongoing growth and the thriving ministry that is forever to be known as Temple of Light Center for Spiritual Living. And no matter what skill or virtue you bring, remember this. It's from Colossians chapter three, verse 14. And overall, these virtues, all of them, whatever it is, these virtues put on love, on top of all of these virtues, put on love, which binds them all together in perfect unity. Let love bind us together in perfect unity today and every day. Namaste. Wow.